In this episode, I'm going to run my calorie counter made with foundation mode framework in my iPhone 14 Pro Max. By the way, excuse me that I stopped recording my face, but I cannot record the phone and my computer at the same time. I don't know why. Anyway, so we press calorie demo. Here we are in the track food that is empty right now. I'm going to press the add button. There we go. And I'm going to add a scrambled egg. I'm going to press save and what? There is a small blinking, but let's see what is the problem now. Oh, okay. looks like we have an issue here. Okay, creating meal is creating the meal. Yeah, it's entering here, but we got an error right here. It says assets unavailable, foundation model, model is unavailable. Oh man. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna fix that problem and I'm gonna tell you how to review the availability of foundation models framework in your app. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like and comments because that helped me a lot to make more content like this. All right, here we go. Okay, the first thing to do will be not here in add food form, which is where we introduce the food, but here in food calorie estimator. Here is where the real AI might happens and when we call foundation model. So as you can see, we just have this estimate calories right away. And this is called directly into a function that is below, right here. So we are just calling this generate nutrition information right away. And we are not verifying if the API is ready. So we want something like that. Well, the first thing to do is actually verifying if the model that we are using is available. In this case, we are using the default model from the system. And for that, I'm going to create a variable that will speed up things. Here I am creating a static property that is just calling system language model default, which is the one that you can use here. By the way, for example, by default, you can call a model. If you click on it, there you go. You will see here that the initializer is expecting a system language model and is getting the default value. So in other words, we can just add here model and we can call here the model. So right now this is a little bit redundant, but it's just to give you the idea that this model is automatically called, but it will be helpful because now we have this model and this model will tell us if the model is available or not. Now, let me add two more properties here. I'm going to add one property called is available. As you can see here, we are calling the model is available and is indicating if it's available or not. It's not giving the reason. The reason is right here. Here, this availability is giving you the property or the, the value of why this is not available or yes, it's available. If we explore here a little bit, you will see the different unavailable reasons or availability. For example, you can see that uh, the device is not available because it's not supporting Apple intelligence, as is my case, or Apple intelligence is not enabling your computer or in your uh, phone. This is another problem. Uh, it could be that the problem, the model is not ready for some reason and needs to wait a little bit more, or there is like an issue with the network, battery level, etc. By default, it could be could throw available, which is the system is ready, you don't have to worry about. It. Otherwise, it will give you unavailable and it will give you the unavailable reason. Okay. In this case, I'm just adding these two uh, properties because it's easy for me to abstract what is the foundations model LTI. And maybe in the future, if I decide I want a better system, well, I just have at least two properties that can give me something about it. Okay, what's next? Now it's time to go back to add food form. And here, what we want to do is showing an alert with the reason why the model is not available. 
The first step would be just simply adding two states. One is to show the alert or not, depending on the situation, and an alert message that will change depending on what is read. Now let's move on a little bit. In here, I'm going to add this alert. I'm gonna tell the model is unavailable, and we're gonna present when the show alert is true. And we're gonna simply display a button with OK and the alert message. Now we're going to scroll down and we're gonna introduce this function. I'm just giving you all the details right now because there's a lot of typing. This function will tell us if the estimator is not available. And if it's not available, we should provide a reason. So this method is expected to be called once we know that. And depending on the reason, we have a switch with multiple cases. In this particular demo, if the model is available, well, we are throwing a fatal error because we don't want that. We want that this case is ignored. And if it, this is happening, well, we are getting a problem in our business logic. Although if in your case, you want to add something else or ju just ignore it, it's up to you. But in my case, I'm just adding a fatal error to me to understand, okay, it shouldn't be called in this situation. Now, if we have unavailable, we have multiple reasons. As I said, device, device not reliable, and we are telling this message, the device is not able to use this feature. Or if Apple, Apple intelligence is not enabled, please enable Apple intelligence to access this feature, model not ready. And lastly, right now we have just three cases, three situations of why it is not available. But in the future, it could be something else, or maybe uh, the API can throw anything else. Well, we just have this just in case. And of course, we are showing the alert if this is the case. Let's uh, scroll up now and let's make some room here. We are going to paste this code. We're going to call the estimator that is available that we created earlier to understand if it is or not. If this is available, available, okay, available. Yes, I'm sorry. Let me fix that right now. So Later. So, as I said, if the estimator is available, we are moving normally. If it's not, then we are going to provide the reason why this is not available. And we will throw the alert. And we will not allow the user to move on further. Now, with this change, let's run the app in my device. All right, here we are again in the app. Now, with this change, let's now start again with scramble x okay i'm gonna press save look model unavailable your device is not able to do to use this feature awesome now let me try one more time because why not on an apple right save no it's not working excellent that, that's weird, right? To say that you're happy because it's not working. In this particular situation with my iPhone 14 Pro Max, it's expected it's not able to work. Great. Now, just to make sure that things are not broken, let me right now run this on a simulator and see the final result. Okay, now here we are in iPhone 16 simulator. Let me press add and I'm gonna add Humble X. Now see the result. Let's create a meal. It's taking some time, but there we go. We have 150 calories. Let's create a meal with an apple. An apple. Okay. There we go. It's working. Now we can confirm that for the cases where foundations model is not available, we can say that to the user. And if everything is fine and is available, we can use the app right away. I don't know if there is a better way to do this, but I would like your comments about it. If you think there is another alternative to validate this, let me know in the comments, or let's try to figure out how to improve the user experience here.
If you want to learn more about foundation model framework or anything related to Swift, you have the comments below to tell me that. My name is Pete, and this, this is Ethan Tips. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.